After the age of rebirth had passed, America was facing a very unsettling and nerve-wracking time. A time when we faced a cold war between communism and capitalism. At any moment, a war could have wiped out life as we know it. On our soil, trouble reigned supreme. The war for civil rights and equal freedom for other races was still rising higher and higher. Little by little, the world was growing darker than before. But we're not really here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the closed-cut election in 1960 between Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy. You know, before this and this. Anyways, the build-up to the election in November 8th, 1960 was quite an interesting one. It was after the end of Eisenhower's second term. You know, the guy who failed to defuse the Cold War, moderate the Republican Party, improve plight of the American farmer, or provide leadership in civil rights. Uh, not only that, but... He also had Richard Nixon as the vice president of the U.S., a politician and Republican who wanted to become president and would use his political power to counterattack the Soviets and, if needed, have a war. John F. Kennedy was a man that felt he needed to be president to help America's needs and aid them in the direction away from war. World War II may have been 15 years before, but the pain was still fresh in the public's mind. So who's going to win? A man with political background previous to his vice presidency and knew what he wanted and how to get it. Or this guy. Kennedy didn't get to become president for his good looks. After all, it was a close call for both men, with either one potentially winning. Both brought up good points about what they wanted for presidency, but Kennedy just seemed to be more of a peaceful guy. And so, Kennedy won with an electoral vote of 303 against 219 votes. This was a celebration for the Democrats, but after a thousand days into presidency, JFK would be assassinated, and in later years, Nixon would become president, but impeached after two years when the Watergate incident was unveiled. Well, that's two of them gone. Who's left now? I think his name was Gerald Ford? What? Gerald who?